Another situation where electrostatic forces apply is where you have a single point charge, consider our sodium ion again, and then you have molecules, for instance water, oxygen, and, and two hydrogens. A molecule with a, a permanent dipole moment which is um, pointing in a direction that uh, sort of places the the partial negative charge close to the positive point charge and the positive partial positive charge away from that that point charge and this creates another situation where you get favorable electrostatic interactions even though you don't have two formal full charges the partial charge interacting the partial charges interacting with the the point charge makes for a very favorable situation and this is why why water molecules with their dipole moments and asymmetric charge distribution are so good at solvating other polar entities such as ions or because they can orient their dipole moments so as to favorably interact with the, the charges involved. And there's a shell of partially negatively charged oxygen atoms surrounding that one positive charged sodium ion, and they kind of neutra neutralizes the charge a bit. You'll still experience the presence of this positive ion, but in a, in a water milieu, the sodium and the chloride ion are no longer as strongly attracted to each other because of this shielding. And this is the molecular explanation for why we observe this dielectric constant, which is so high, value of 80. Uh, Coulombic forces, electrostatic forces, are diminished in strength in a polar solvent such as water.